W Bellevue. Where's that all the clubs here in Seattle and W? Yay! Hola amigos, I am here to do a different type of video as you guys know or see in the title below. This is going to be a story time. No, I am not turning into a story time channel. I just had an experience that I really wanted to share with you guys in regards to W Bellevue here in Bellevue, Washington. Just wanted to let people be aware of the experience that I had uh, just so that maybe you'll somewhat think about coming to this place or just know what you're in for if you are going to be going to this place. The place that I'm referring to is W Bellevue Lobby, Living Room Bar, Bar, Lobby, Living Room Bar, Bar. Not sure what it's called. Ultimately, it's a bar area that's in the lobby of a hotel, which is W Bellevue. And I guess they turn it into a nightclub or something. It's something that I've never heard of before, but apparently a lot of people go. Honestly, the only reason I would endure all of this is for my friend's birthday party. It's one of my best friends and, you know, we really wanted to go upstairs to, you know, celebrate with her. Okay. Anyways, we got there around 9.30. We got in line. The line was already outside. And it was freezing cold because right now, I think this was on Veterans Day weekend is when this happened. It was so cold outside, but we waited outside for probably like 10, 20 minutes, I think. And then we finally got inside to the line that does a little like, it's roped going like a little snake or whatever. I did notice that when we were, we were in line, this guy, I, I have a picture of him. I'll go ahead and insert it here. Ooh, you suck if I can find a picture or just a video clip, which by the way, I do have video clips because I was just done. I was done. We got in line at 9.30 and I noticed right away that the guy in the front or one of the bouncers, he kept asking for IDs. He's like, have your IDs out, have your IDs out, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't think anything of it, it's whatever. But when you hear it like 10 to 15 times when the line hasn't even moved, you're like, well, what the hell? You already know. And even people in line were like, you checked my ID already. You checked my ID already. It's like they need to have a system in place that shows, hey, you checked my ID, stamp on the hand, or you know, just plain remembering the first 10 people in line, you know? You know, yeah, it, it's not hard. That's what she said. <laughs> and then let me see here. I'm looking at my Yelp review because that's where I have a majority, a majority of my notes. But I'll go ahead and link them down below as far as my Yelp review on both because Yelp had a thing where it has um, limited characters, so I had to continue on to the living room bar. So look up my review on W Bellevue, and then also on living room bar, or just go onto my Yelp page, and it'll be one of those there. Oh my gosh, so there were a total of three bouncers, three main bouncers that were downstairs, one manning the front, one manning the line, and one manning the elevator. I will tell you now that this elevator, these two elevators that go upstairs, are for also regular hotel guests. So can you imagine being a hotel guest and being yelled at to back it up, back it up? Because this one bouncer, he has a Jamaican accent. He's the one that honestly had things the most under control. No but he was the most if I were to you know point it out but he at one point they things got out of hand like people were going here there going into the elevators probably ho hotel guests that have cards paid good money to stay in the hotel were all said to back it up back it up back it up because they could not control the crowd whatsoever it wasn't even that big of a crowd to be honest and I felt bad because there were hotel guests there that were pretty pretty you know older way older and I felt bad because they were just being cattled around and shuttled through all this mess you know when they just wanted to go to the room so that was like another thing where I was like they need to figure out a process where it's like you know they just need to figure out a process for that the three bouncers there I know one was a he was the only white bouncer I'm not trying to put a racial issue on it but he was the only white bouncer named Tim there was a tall black guy and then a, another black guy who's Jamaican accent there was three of them Honestly, like chickens with their head cut off, just running around, not knowing what to do. People telling people not to go in line, people saying that it's, it's over capacity, there's no one going in, blah, blah, blah. Like we got so many contradicting statements where I was just like, I can't imagine like, this was on an every weekend basis, like how disorganized it could be. Like, you know, 
Okay, I'm not going to get into that, but I'm just going to try to go through all of this right now. So they would do this thing where the reason why it's roped off is because they only set like, I think like 10 or 15 people into the elevator at once to go upstairs to where the lobby bar, living room bar, club, whatever the heck it is. And honestly, we were in line for almost an hour at this point and I was just like telling Melissa and I was just like this is ridiculous I don't even want to go if it weren't for Sadie I would not be here like let's be real what they did is they would have people go and then like one of the bouncers would yell at the bouncers letting people in like what are you doing what are you doing send them back send them back it would be to the point it happened to us three times while we were in line three times we would be like walking to the elevator and then one of the one of the bouncers would get into an argument and be like no what what are you doing let them back in let them back in so we had to go back in line and then they would send us back again and then no what what no it's over capacity blah 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 let them back in and it was like three times are you fucking kidding me three times oh a tip to the bouncers if you say shut it down really shut it down the guy that kept saying shut it down was the guy in orange i'll insert a clip somewhere Ooh, you suck. he kept saying shut it down shut it down and i was you know like okay cool whatever shut it down but after he kept saying shut it down he would let people in line or he would let people cut or he would bring people upstairs i mean he would put people in the elevator and it's just like well, if you're gonna shut it down, just shut it down. Like, quit trying to create false hope. The double, blah, blah, blah. the double standards with certain parties was pretty apparent. And if I were a regular here, it would be like, well, what the hell? There was a party of how many girls in front of us, and they were waiting for two people. The bouncers let their friends go in when, you know, this was, mind you, after they said shut it down, shut it down, no more people in line. They let them cut. I don't care whatever it's whatever they're part of their party right but there was a group of guys behind us that wanted to have their friends that they're you know that that was late and the bouncers were like no nah, no nah, we're not doing that they need it no 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 they need to go back the line and it's like but there's no one that's supposed to be going in line anymore again with the hypocrisy of it all if you have a rule about you know, like not letting people cut the line or whatever, or going to the back of the line, not joining your party, it's not fair. You need to enforce it for everybody and not just have it for certain parties as you see fit. It just doesn't make sense to me, you know? So my friend was having a birthday thing upstairs and we were like texting her and saying like, you know, hey, they're not letting us up. They're saying that it's at maximum capacity, blah, 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 and all this stuff. Come to find out the maximum capacity of this place is like 54, which is ridiculous. It's whatever, anyways, I digress. We kept telling her like, hey, you know, there's people coming down here, getting part, getting people to go upstairs to their party, blah, blah, blah. You should probably do the same thing. But apparently she talked to the guy, the bouncer in orange, and you suck. And the bouncer was like, no, just give me their names, whatever. So of course she gave us our names, Melissa and I's name. He comes downstairs and she's texting us like live, like, hey, he's coming downstairs. We see him come downstairs, totally ignores the fact that it's just the two of us. And it took for my friend Melissa to be like pointing at him and saying like, he's ignoring what Sadie's saying to me. Like he, she was like talking about him to me. And then he finally comes up to us and he's like, what are y'all's names? What are y'all's names? Blah, blah, blah. And then we both say unison. And he's like, oh, oh yeah, I talked to your friend. Blah, blah, blah. And then something happened in the scuffle. People tried to go on the elevator, probably hotel guests, got yelled at, blah, blah, blah. And he lost his train of thought. So we're stuck there yet again. Okay, so let me go to the living room because I finished the W. So let me go to the living room bar. I had a real issue with when the guy, the bouncer in orange. Ooh, you suck. He pretty much promised everyone in line because that's when he cut off the line in the first place, like an hour of us being into the line. And he said, okay. Hey, all of y'all here are going to be able to go upstairs. But if you guys have friends that are coming and they're late, he's like, they're probably not going to be able to. We're cutting the line. We're shutting the line down right now. Blah, blah, blah. Shutting the line down. Again, for like the 10th time, he pretty much just told everyone, hey, you guys are going to be able to make it upstairs. But that wasn't the case. Because honestly, he shouldn't have said that if he couldn't have made it happen. Because there was another guy upstairs who was apparently in charge because when 
when we were about to go on to the elevator he came down and he was like i told y'all not to let anybody else up we're full we're full we're full and then this is the guy that keeps saying that it's full see he's saying don't let anyone in don't let anyone in no more people but these are the people that have been waiting here since like 10 o'clock not even like 9 40 ish and then this guy in the orange orange bouncer guy I was like scrambling like, uh, 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 uh. like obviously he had no authority and didn't didn't know what to do nothing was in his control but the fact that he made a promise that everyone would be going upstairs that's where the mistake was because honestly I don't think people would care if it's like you know it's full upstairs but I'm gonna see what I can make happen blah 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 because you know if you make a promise to people, they will latch onto that. Especially people waiting in line for almost two hours. Yes, they will latch onto that. So that was his mistake. You should never overpromise and underdeliver because that's just pretty much the end of you if you don't deliver. I'm just saying. The reason I have such high expectations when it comes to stuff like that is because I worked in customer service for the longest time, for about seven years at Toyota, and I dealt with my fair share of customers, and I know that if you were to promise them something and not deliver, oh my gosh, you will have some hell to pay. So, yeah. Dropping, dropping my experience. <laughs> this is the guy that doesn't know what he's doing. This is the line of people that can't get in. So we've been standing in this line at W Bellevue for about an hour. We were here since 9.40 like an hour and a half ago yeah so this is uh, Sadie we're here for Sadie's birthday otherwise we would have been done bound yeah it is disorganized <laughs> it is <horrible>. chaotic <laughs> they don't know what they're doing I would like the names of the bouncers <laughs> and the team. picture now snapshot now Ooh, you suck. I did I took a picture of them <laughs> and I'm gonna email this picture to the manager and then yeah so these guys were Ultimately, once we got up to the bar, it wasn't even that full and it wasn't even all that. Like, I know I won't be back. I won't even be back for like the daytime because I wanted to check it on the daytime when it wasn't full of like random people. Crowd is really all over the place. I mean, I guess you can call it diverse. But I think that even me being 29, I think I was one of the youngest people there because it was pretty much ranging from anywhere from like late 30s to like 50s plus of people, people in business suits, people in club wear, people in sweats. People, it's just like a real melting pot of people and not the type of melting pot that I would be like proud of, I guess, because I don't know, when I think of W Bellevue and like the reputation that I thought it had, I thought it was more, I don't know. I don't even know what the expectation that I had for W Bellevue, to be honest. I just know that I know I won't be back. I'm okay with that. If I wanted to go to the club, I would much rather go to Seattle because I mean, this was such a hassle for when I got upstairs, it was not worth it. The only thing that was worth it was for my best friend's birthday. Oh, I didn't even get to the end of the story. So <laughs> honestly, we, we waited in line for two hours and the only reason we got upstairs was because Melissa finally was just like, we're just gonna go upstairs, take a picture with our friend and then leave. We literally had to push ourselves into the elevator to go upstairs. It was like the most frustrating thing ever. And we dealt with these two people that cut the line because originally the last 15 people that they let up, we were supposed to be a part of that. But these two people, it's a couple, it's a white guy and this uh, black girl, they were together or something and they were older. They were probably like 50. 45 50 or whatever trying to hang on to that youth that they had and he pretty much pushed us out of the way initially go figure he had it when melissa went to go talk to the bouncer in orange Ooh, you suck. they came down in the elevator trying to get some of more of their friends or whatever and that's when melissa's like come on let's go and so i go into the elevator melissa pushes past them because they were like blocking the elevator because you know that's just the type of people they are the girl was like what the f is your problem and then that's when melissa just you know, let loose. Melissa doesn't get mad, but it was just an ordeal. And getting upstairs, it wasn't even eh, like we were outside and that's why I was, I got sick was because we were outside and they have heat lamps and blankets and stuff, but it was just like, huh, interesting. We're trying to pull off like a modern chic 
type of uh, ambiance is something that is very like people are drawn to but honestly I could do without that I'd much rather go to a place where it's not much of a hassle and like the only thing I the only reason I say that is because the bouncers were literally like so surprised at like the turnout like I feel like this was like the first time they were like seeing a crowd like this and like dealing with a situation like this here I'll show you or I'll read to you so Melissa wrote a thing as well a review on Yelp and Dante M which I guess is the manager responded to her saying due to Bellevue's current nightlife the demand to our living room bar is high and we need to be able to regulate it but we do apologize you had to wait in line for so long okay but your regulators were <laughs> seriously laughable there was so many things wrong that I can point out and then they said as for our occupancy we want to ensure all guests inside are not having to wait long periods for drinks or that it is so crowded that they cannot move around okay well then just send everybody home don't have everyone waiting in line and saying keep telling them that they can't come upstairs they can't come upstairs like it just doesn't make sense to me like just be like okay well we're not letting anybody else in blah 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 because that's just what it felt like to me like we were never going to be like we were seriously the first ones in line to go upstairs as soon as the max maximum occupancy was like lifted or whatever i don't even know if it's going to be lifted but ultimately she was just saying that you know we understand if our living room bar is not the right fit for you will i be back no no god no god please no 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 do i recommend it no no god i think you can get a better experience without so much of the hassle in seattle but that's just me if you're looking for a place in bellevue I say make the drive out to Seattle and it'll be worth it because I think that W Bellevue is overhyped. Yeah, I won't be back. <laughs> I won't be back. But yeah, ultimately that's it. If you guys like long lines, bouncers who don't know what they're doing, no dance floor but a DJ, getting in line for so, so long. If you like getting high blood pressure from all the stress that you're going to endure trying to get into this place, be my guest because... um that's all you but ultimately i'm good with it again go ahead and check out my yelp reviews down below it's a two-parter so one is on w bellevue and the other is on living room bar i have nothing else to say i just wanted to share my experience with you guys and yeah but that was my short story time not so short all right guys uh that is pretty much it i'm not gonna do my outro because i am not doing this for likes or subscribers i'm just doing this for people who are going to w bellevue thinking about going to w bellevue contemplating this is my experience all right guys i will see you guys later bye